Greetings, Commanders! Welcome back to the Ark of War Beginner Series. Well, in the last couple of videos, we've been all talky-talky, not a lot of worky-worky. We're going to try and get back onto that PvP train to, to get the excitement rolling, because Ark of War, in its nature, is exciting. It, it really gets your blood pumping and your heart rate up, and uh, the adrenaline kicks in, but you've got to risk something. And in Ark of War, you do risk. You risk your armies. You risk losing. You risk getting hit. And when you realize what you're losing, that's when it can get pretty exciting. So um, I'm back on Toast today. That's the beginner arc we were using. Um, I do intend to do a novice series with a different account. Uh, that, those videos will come. But let's finish up what we're doing on Toast here because uh, I want to get into the PvP and show you how close we're getting. Now, it's been a week. I didn't get NB55. I didn't do the quest. So now the game is offering to just give them to me for 9,000 gold. 9,000 gold is a lot of gold when you first start, especially if you're not spending. If you are spending, you can spend $5 and get Galileo. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, who's a better commander than MB55. Or you can just pay the gold and get MB55 for $93.90. Now, in order to get him, you just go up here and, and click it again. Um, if you need gold, you can go spend gold here. I, I don't want to go too much into the spending. That is a part of this game if you want to go down that road. Um, Galileo for, you know, purchase 5 bucks, I think. Yeah, it's uh, $5. Should be the Galileo pack. Is it in here? Let me see. First purchase Primo get oh, for just for spending you get him but also you get the other thing you buy generally speaking the gold mail stuff is totally useless never buy this stuff um, arc supplies is like monthly stuff you spend it one time you know 20 bucks you get uh, 30 magazines times 20 a day for you know once per day um, those can be good early on especially just to get bonus value later on in the game maybe not so much. Uh, and then these are the gold packs they offer. Remember, if you buy a $5 one, that $5 one won't be back. The next time it's 10 20 50 and then 100 I think. Sometimes you get a buy one, get one pack, uh, but that's only early on. The packs are available if you want them. If you want to buy the MB55, you can. If you decide to spend just to get Galileo, it's not a bad idea. He's definitely the best 5 bucks you'll ever spend in this game, especially starting off. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to be spending. I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, I'm not going to get the MB55 either. So if you watch the last two videos, I was able to get a Cohen release, which is amazing luck. I am going to be doing airship main for the most part. But early game, you really you, you get to balance between infantry, walker, and airship because the research path kind of takes you down all of those. By the time you get to tier 3, tier 4, you do want to start specializing in one. So for now, this is who we have. Let's go ahead and release a commander and see who our third commander is because we want to utilize the amount of commanders we have to farm arcs. That's what today's video is about, right? Getting out there to start hitting arcs. But in order to do it, I need troops, I need leadership and gear. The question is, how do I prioritize? So first, let's get the commander. We know we need him. We got a free release here. It'd be nice to get a NECA Jiro uh, or someone with a guaranteed hit. Yeah, Luna, not a great commander. She's an infantry comm. She's kind of got like a give and take about her. Nothing really scales early on with her. What you want is just those guaranteed hits. So. As a decom, she's mostly useless. We might pour a few a few bits of leadership into her and absorb her later on when we do start releasing a lot more commanders, but I don't want to invest too much leadership into her right now. Uh, I do want my flare to be able to carry some troops, right? So whenever I go hit somebody, I want to be able to come back with 300,000 plunder. So I'm going to go to explore. I'm going to grab flare. I'm going to max my army out there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I don't want to do that. What is the maximum amount I can carry? Now, oh, unfortunately, I lost a lot of troops when I was offline. Uh, so there's, uh, that's right, it auto defaults to the tier 3 airships if you do the auto, because they're better up front. Um, so let's go ahead and just save this march, that's the, that's the airship march. I'll probably run some infantry there because I want to utilize Flare's skill. So th those airships won't trigger Flare's heat-seeking missile, that's his guaranteed hit skill. Only infantry, see the green text, only infantry. Uh, the red ones are airships, so I will need to get some infantry if I want to trigger that skill. Otherwise, I get no value of his skills, and all I have is just a commander who has leadership. But commander with no skills, it doesn't matter which commander you have, they're all the same. The, the stats on the commanders themselves, you see these stats. Uh, did they take those away? There used to be stats that said what the commander was good at. Yeah, they're not here anymore. They used to say, like, strength, support. Um, they didn't matter, so they took them away, so that's nice. But uh, we do need to train some troops. Now, we do have some T1 airships, right? We have the hummingbirds. We have unlocked the seagulls, the tier 2 airships. These seagulls, even to the super late game, are going to be useful. Reinhardt's, um, especially. But even then, like, PvPing against tier 5 with tier 2 is a great idea. It's so cheap and, and easy to build tier 2. It's easy to fill up a lot of leadership. So go ahead and start pumping up your tier 2. Now, I'm choosing to go with the airships right now but i want to look at this research path and see how far along my infantry is so okay so i have lurkers available i just need resources right i need resources Two hundred thousand cash is not a small amount uh and then i need one hundred fifty thousand food and parts so the best way to do it is just to go farm the map but i don't have a lot of troops to farm a lot of players but i do have some troops and i could 
Oh, I get my free magazines by clicking down here, little uh, little chest right here. Click that. There we go. Some free magazines for the the ones I've already done. Um, I could just stick to this path, right, and just keep going down and exploring. And every time you explore, you unlock the quest and you can reclaim those quest re quest rewards for the resources you need to level up. The game doesn't force you to PvP early on if you don't want to, so you have those options. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just do both, right? So there's the explore. I unlock a quest. I go to quest down here, and you can see for doing 115, I get, I don't know, 10,000 of each. And they, they get better and better as time goes on, right? And, of course, there's these other quests you can do for rewards as well. Uh, the daily missions are just free things you should do every day. The daily request reward can give magazines and other types of good things. Uh, definitely worth doing, especially the magazines, especially for the first month. You really want to do those. Probably do them every day just because they're easy and you're going to be doing that stuff uh, or close to it similarly. If you can do these, um, you know, definitely do it. But um, and, and don't refresh too much early on. I just took a refresh by habit. But um, you, you do need commanders and leadership and levels to do it. But uh, it doesn't use your commanders up. It just uses them in the daily explore tab. They're just stuck here. Uh, so once they're in there, you can still use them in explore and PvP. So uh, one more thing before we get into the PvP is the time and space war. I was able to just come in and just keep doing some clicking here. Notice that my power is 500 now. And uh, that means I'm on wave number 12. And that just opens up more residual collection rate. And uh, more things in the merchant's law. So now I could buy a free 30% off coupon. And those can be upgraded later on. 30, a couple 30%s can turn into a 40%. And that just lowers the gold cost of things in the shop. So um, remember to combine those. Level this up. It doesn't matter what level your ship is. You can always play the time and space war. And just keep leveling the ships. Get to the, get to the highest wave possible. I have some advanced videos on that. But definitely worth your time if you're not sure what you should be doing. So now we've got two commanders. We've got some troops. We've got a research on the way. Uh, we don't have a lot of gear, and it is hard to get gear early on, and the gear is not that useful. And in the last video, I tried to explain that the only thing you really want is HP and defense gear. You don't need dodge gear. Um, obviously, accuracy, attack, crit gear is useful. Anything you can get your hands on, but defense gear is the most important thing early on. Defense gear and tier 2 and just getting out there. So here we are. We're out on the map. We're up probably in, yeah, we're down in Oto which is fine. Oto, Area 17, Tiberia, all the outskirts. The further you away are, the further you are from the middle, the more likely you are to find lower tiles and lower arcs that you can farm. So down here is good. Up top's good. Generally speaking, um, Zentown and Amuziland are not that great for new arcs. They, they do exist out there. I'll just randomly pick a spot here. Let's see what we see. Yeah, there's ships out here. Okay. Uh, historically, it was always best to farm in the north and south bits of the map, but go wherever you can. And uh, right here, we've got a player, level 7, his shield's down. He might have started last week. He might be active right now. I don't know. You used to be able to add somebody to your friends or favorites, and you used to be able to go online and see if they were online. I don't think that's in the in the game anymore. You used, to, you used to be able to do that. Maybe if you go to your friends tab. Yeah, let's see. So let's see if I can add that person to friends. I think if you, in their chat, let's see, information, mail, block... Friend. I don't think there's a way to do it. Uh, check in the comments below. See if anyone found a way to do that. But anyway, so we've scouted our first ship. He's got three Shadow Matter, uh, 400,000 food, 400,000 parts, some gas. No cash. We need a lot of cash. This guy is empty, though. He's already been hit recently. But uh, he's still worth about 100,000 resources total. I just add it all up. This guy's worth about 700,000. So I can and plus the Shadow Matter, which is going to be hard to uh, absorb early on. Um, if you don't want to, if, the, if the, someone has like 50 shadow matter and you just can't pillage so much, you can put a rally on him. And if you attack him and wait the five minutes in the rally, so you set the rally, you go in here, rally attack, join the rally. If you send an army and wait the five minutes, you will actually take their resources before the shadow matter. Little trick there. But uh, that's not what we're going to be doing today. We're just going to be going after him and stealing his resources. So we'll do that and then uh, we'll come back with, uh, you know, what we get. 